Okay, today's lesson is, we're going to call it um, partial difference subtraction, okay? Difference means the answer to a subtraction problem. So if I said 9 minus 4 equals 5, 5 would be the difference, the difference between the 9 and the 4, okay? So we're going to call our new strategy today partial difference, P-A-R-T-I-A-L difference. When we're doing addition, D-I-F-F-E-R, difference. I'm not sure if it's an E or an A, but I'll let you know later. Difference, okay? Partial difference, subtraction. When we're doing addition, we'd call it partial sums. A sum is the answer. Like if I said 9 plus 4 equals 13, the sum is 13. That's where we get the name partial sums for addition, and we're going to do partial difference for subtraction. We're going to start with a two-digit problem. Please write this as I'm writing it. So let me say that again. Please write this as I'm writing it. All right, we're going to start with the number 58. <coughs> 58. 58. We're doing subtraction. So we have a minus sign. And we're going to do 58 minus 32 equals. When we do partial sums, we line them up. But for subtraction, it's kind of going to be a it's going to be a mixture of expanded form and our partial sums. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand out numbers 58. Pop <coughs> it in and chew it up for me. 58, 58, 58, 58. Ready? If I stretch the thumb, 50, 50, 50. <coughs> Nope, you were right. Plus eight. That's the number 58. <coughs> 50 plus 8 is 58. This one's going to be a little bit tricky because you're going to see plus signs and minus signs. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to stretch out 32, but when we do partial sums, our second step is to line them up. Instead of going side by side like we would do with expanded form addition, we're going to line up our numbers for subtraction. So pop in the numbers 32 in your mouth. 32. 32. 32. What's my first stretch? 30 plus 30 2. 30 plus 2. Now, we're not really going to be adding anything until we make our first number. So I'm going to circle that and put a plus in here. <coughs> 32 is 30 plus 2. Notice how we lined them up. I said we're going to line our numbers up. So 30 needs to be under 50, 2 needs to be under 8. Now we're going to be able to do our subtraction. I'm going to go in with the, um, a different color and make my minus sign. Here's my ones column, here's my tens. See that? Okay. Thank you, Lucas. I love how you're drawing the line down the middle. All right. Notice that I have a line underneath the 30 and the 2 because like um, when we do partial sums, we have a, a place to go. We're not going to make a chart like we were doing for partial sums because we've spread them out already. This is our 1s. This is our 10s. So, if I say 8 minus 2, what, was, what would my difference be? 6. Thank you, Jorge. 8 minus 2 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Minus 2 equals 6. See how we got that? He just did it in his brain really quick. Now, 30 minus, or 50 minus 20 I could go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Sorry, you're right. I said that wrong. 50 
minus 30, I'm going to take away 3 tens. My answer left over is 20. Jorge. So when we smush the number back together, my answer ends up being 26. Okay. Do you see, do you understand what we just did? Yes. Do you have any questions? No. All right. Okay, so we're still doing partial difference. Ready? Let's do this time, let's do one that's a little tricky. Ready? All right, let's do um, 71 minus 16. 71 minus 16. 71 minus 16. Pop 71 in our mouths, guys. Ready? <coughs> 71, 71, 71, 71. No one else answer. Ready? Michaela, when I stretch that out, what comes out first? 70. 70 comes out first. And then what? One. Okay, good. 71. 70 plus 1. Notice that I'm putting spaces between it because I know there's going to be stuff we have to do. I'm not trying to write it really small and compact together. Okay? 70 plus 1. When I pop 16 in my mouth, 16, 16, 16, 16. Um, Jock, when I stretch 16 out, <coughs> what's it going to be? 10. <coughs> and a 6. 10 plus 6 equals 16. Now, I want you to look at my numbers. If I have one dot, can I take away 6? No. This is where it's going to get a little tricky for us. This is where this new strategy, when we have numbers that are taking away that are bigger than the first number, we're going to have to come up with a plan. So, when we are doing base 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 71, and I need to take away six ones. What, what's, our, what's our rule? Take away ten. And? Make one. Make one. Make one. Make one. How many ones? Because <coughs> someone just told me to make one one. <coughs> so how many ones do we use when we take away a ten? Ten. Ten ones. So this up here is what's going to change. We have to take away a 10. If I take a 10 away from 70, what would my answer be? 60. 60. Now I'm going to move that one that we took away over into the ones column. And I'm going to have 11 ones. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 reds and one black. Can I take away 6 from 11? No. Yes. I can take away 6 from 11. Notice that I drew my 1 for the number. So in front of your 1, you need to have a 1 for the 10 that we just took over. Now, I'm going to go, not Jacob, look it. Just put a 1 right in front of the 1. Put a 1 right in front. Cross off the 70. <coughs> now make 60. This number here should say 10 plus 6. There we go. Draw your line under it. Now I can take away and still be okay. But here's my question. Is it just 6 take away 10 or is it 60 take away 10? 60 take away 10. Okay, good. 60 take away 10. <laughs> 50. How many left? 50. Great job. I'm going to carry the plus sign down to the bottom, right? And I'm, I'm subtracting the tops. So 11 take away 6. I'm going to count nine. backwards until I get to 6. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. That's 5. Thank you. So when I squish 50 plus 5 together, what's my answer? 55. 55. Great job. Okay. Do you have questions before we erase? Do you have questions at this point? Everyone understands what we just did? 
Yes. This part's a little tricky, isn't it, when we don't have enough? All right, good job. Um, you guys